New York City is the most diverse city, arguably, in the world. We have 128 dialects just spoken in one of our boroughs. You have one of the richest zip codes in America. And then three miles away from that, you'll have the poorest congressional district in the United States. There are elements in New York City where things become idols. The elevation of wealth that becomes the dream of everyone. The drug empires that exist. Sex is a big idol. Pornography, prostitution of high school girls and, and young girls. But we think God is doing something new. I think it's very easy when you have battles in your life where everybody's a victim. It's the neighborhood's fault. It's the culture's fault. And yet, you can decide to turn it around and use those things that have happened to you and let that become the motivation that moves you. We're giving away groceries. We have services from the community, helping individuals out. We have stuff for the children. It's just a wonderful day just to show some love. We want to build community and bring hope. We believe that right now, more than ever, the world is plagued with suicide, depression, and folks who just have lost their way. We believe that we have been strategically put in people's lives to plant a seed that eventually the Lord's going to bring to harvest. We're trying to bring peace, you know? And we have some books for you guys. This one is for you. It's an everyday devotion. This is the story of Jesus in 24 languages. We'll hook you up, and the whole neighborhood will get you. Lord, even today as we stand on these steps, we lift up now all of the elected officials to you, God. The goal today for New York is to raise up a generation of leaders off of these streets. So we're gonna get ready to do what's important and that's pray. So I want you guys to bow your heads because we're gonna get ready to talk to God. We just need more and more people to say, we believe. How you doing Times Square? I'm hoping God's glory will fall in our city as, as we walk together as one church in New York City. And we pray that there will be an awakening of you. Let there be more love in this city, more community in this city. We pray boldness for the people we work with and work for. He's got a big plan for your life. And whatever you want me to accomplish, I'm in your hands.